Good morning, family of FAST. Matt Mossman, the Chief Science Officer over at Endurly. Today we're going to talk about a more serious topic, and that is relative energy deficiency in sports, also known as REDS. Now, what is REDS? Well, REDS is when athletes don't get enough fuel through food to support the energy demands of training and activities of daily living. Now, usually when an athlete eats a nutrient-dense diet and gets plenty of rest, they can replenish energy stores quickly and they can get back to training in a strong and healthy way. But with REDS, an energy deficiency grows over time where it negatively impacts muscle strength, endurance, and overall health and well-being. And left untreated, it can lead to some pretty severe problems in athletes such as reproductive health, bone health such as osteoporosis, immunity uh, where you're getting more colds and infections, cardiovascular health, and then also psychological health like things like anxiety and depression. Now, the athletes you're most likely to see reds in are involved in sports that emphasize a slim and skinny physique, such as endurance sports, running and cycling, gymnastics, and maybe in sports too where weight is an issue like wrestling. Now, usually athletes with red experience some pretty common symptoms. They're fatigued, they are frequently sick, they're getting injured, and they could be irritable and anxious. Now, the funny thing about REDS, or not so funny, is in the short term, it can produce uh, improvements in performance, which can be very, very deceiving and not healthy. But in the long term, REDS is a losing game as it will decrease muscle strength and endurance. You're gonna be sick often. It's gonna lead to injuries. Your training adaptations will be blunted. You may notice differences in concentration, coordination, and focus are all being negatively impaired. So now that we know a little bit about REDS, what's the best way to prevent it if you're an athlete or a coach? Well, just emphasize the importance of nutrient-dense foods and getting enough rest so your body can train in a healthy and strong way. If it's in a team environment, you don't want to emphasize body shape and size and then just kind of eliminate any kind of that toxic culture that's revolving around that. Now, if an athlete is already experiencing REDS, um, you're going to have to treat it. And this is usually done by a physician who has an overall picture of the athlete's health, a dietitian to help them choose the most nutrient-dense foods to support the energy demands of training and activities of daily living, and then also a psychologist, because it's not going to be simply just as simple as shoving food in your face. There's usually underlying things behind it that are emotional and psychological. So that is all I have today on REDS. If you want to learn more about REDS, go on over to EnduraLeap.com where I just wrote a huge article on it. And until next time, stay fueled, stay focused, and stay fast.